Yo! Uh, yo! Yo! <laughs> yo! 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 I did not know which yo to keep, so I just kept them all. Sup, guys! If you've been following my content lately, you probably heard this song right here. Fetch you, little star. And if you didn't, well, it's just right here, I think. Yeah. So today I'm going to show you how to do this song. I can't. Fuck. It's stuck, but I mean, I wanted to show you the loop, but fuck. So yeah, I'm going to show you how to do the song on the loop station. Now, um, I did a loop station remix of the song. The link is right there also. But um, I'm not going to show you this version because this version had me using an extra device, which is this auto-tune pedal right here. So I'm going to do the version that I did versus Inky at the Multiverse Battle in 2019. Uh, so let's just jump straight into the tutorial. Hold on, just before we go into the tutorial, I just received this message from friend. Wait. Yo guys, if you're watching this video, you should definitely subscribe to Brad's channel because I mean, it's the coolest channel ever and there's so many cool content that has been released recently and he's gonna release so much more cool content in the future. So it'd be really cool if you could just subscribe to his channel. Thank you very much. Okay, so how are we going to start this tutorial? First of all, we're going to start with a hi-hat. So all the measures are in free. And we're going to start with a hi-hat right here. No effect needed for that. Just 160. Okay. It doesn't matter if it's 0 0.2, 0 0.5, whatever, it's around 160, right? So once we got our hi-hat, we're going to put a snare, any snare you want. Just make sure it's like a big motherfucking fat snare, you know what I mean? Like something like... Um, so I'm putting several snares. I'm putting like three or four snares. I'm going to put another one. Okay, see I put reverb with it at 50% roughly, yeah 49, doesn't really matter as long as you have this reverb on it. Okay, now we're going to put the kicks, we are going to apply EQ on the kicks, so plus 9 low, minus 5 low mid, plus 5 high mid, plus 12 highs, okay. And the level is at plus 8. You can put it a bit lower. It's a bit loud. Like plus 4 is nice. Okay. And this is the pattern we're going to do. It's going like. Okay. So with the other elements. 1, 2, 3, 4. Now we're going to put guitar to bass on the kick but we're not just going to do like a throat kick we're actually going to put a bass softly like this now we are going to put the melody so the melody goes like so you just go with your mouth and I usually put the microphone right below my nose so it goes like I'm going to put reverb with it somewhere around here so around 50 oh 65 yeah somewhere around here and we're going to put lo-fi bit that 8 sample rate 1 16th and the balance is 47.53. So we're going to go like this. Okay. So we're going to do it four times uh, right here. So let's go. Okay, 
now that we have this going on, we're going to put the bass line with the guitar to bass at 50%, 49, 51, doesn't matter, as long as it's around here. And we're going to apply it on the melody. And the bass line goes like this. So let me do it without, without the elements, just so you hear it. It goes like... Okay, so we're going to put it... Okay, now we have almost everything. We need one thing here, and that's just the cha. Okay, so we're just going to say cha. Something like cha 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 Okay. What we do next is we take a beat scatter, P4, all the way to the right, and we apply it on these two, track 3 and track 5, okay? And you see, I recorded it. Now I undo it. Okay. Once we have this done, we take our beat scatter on A, and we go all the way to the left to the filter effect. We take off the effect from the hi-hat, so we only want the effects on this track. Okay. So we only want the effects on this track. So for the filter, here are the settings. Rate, two measures. Um, the depth is like this, 98. The resonance is of 85. The cutoff is at 30, and the step rate, whatever it's called, it's this. Okay. I don't know what the name is in English, sorry. Uh, okay, so we also have a vocal distortion on C, which is at 75. The tone is at 0 and the level is at 51. Later on, we will use a ring modulator. I have it on B and the frequency is of 22. Balance 0, 100. Frequency 22. Okay, so this is how we're going to proceed. We're going to start with the first drop. So we're going to have everything on. And then we're going to bring these two down and press these two effects. You ready? Let's go. Now we're going to go to one measure. And bring these two up. Brick modulator. And again. You can also play with the under redo. Next, we take our filter, we go from one measure, we go just one to the right, and we have this. Okay? What happens next? We're gonna take our ring modulator, bring it all the way to zero, see, zero now, and we're gonna do this. So just to explain, before doing the drop, 
I kind of go randomly pressing on the redo, so it doesn't have to be precise, just like... See? I'm just doing my own little pattern, you can do your own if you want, it doesn't have to be the same. It's just to play a bit, you know? And then, at the end, you just leave these two on, put this, and drop it. Okay? Um, we're not going to do the lyrics version. We're gonna go straight to the other drop. And this one is my favorite drop. So we take off the ring modulator. Put these two back to normal. Okay. And the filter, we're just going, the rate, we're just going one to the right again. And this is my favorite drop of the song. It goes like this. how I just play with the undo redo because the undo redo for me acts as a fourth track effects right here okay so it's as if I always had a beat scatter or a beat repeat here on my tracks and I only do it on the hi-hat and on this on this um, this vocal uh, track right here but you can do it on any any other track you want I could have used a beat scatter on my beat. I could have used a beat scatter on my snare and just play with the undo redo all the time. So this acts as a fourth track effect. Okay. So after this drop, what do we do? We take our we take our rig modulator. We bring it back to twenty two. Take the filter. One more to the right for the rate. Put this back up. Put this on. And then we have this. Let me put it down a little bit. It's going to be a bit loud. Three, two, one, A. And then we take our filter, bring these two down, and bring it to 54. And take off the ring modulator. finish off the song is I take my filter bring it back to the one I said was my favorite drop and put the ring modulator back to zero again so let me do this going from this part until the end part so let's go you know how to do the fetchy instrumental on the loop station and i will see you very very soon for another video tutorial song little talk discussion whatsoever so see you soon